Good morning, friends, and welcome to Children's Church. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We're going to sing a song together this morning that some of you may have heard. And when we sing, praise ye the Lord, I want you to put your hands in the air. Are you ready? Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. That is a song of celebration. That's right. And it's a song of praise. Praise is a way of saying thank you to God and celebrating all of the wonderful things that God has done. Well, how do you like to celebrate? Do you like to have a dance party? Do you eat special foods or do special things with your family? How do you like to celebrate? Today's story is all about celebrating. Last week, we heard about Samuel. Samuel was a priest and a prophet who served God all of his life. Samuel also heard from God who to choose for the kings to lead the people. So Samuel, with God's help, chose kings to lead the people. One of those kings was David. David did many things. One of those important things that David did was to bring the Ark of the Covenant back to Jerusalem. Our story today comes from 2 Samuel, which is in the Old Testament, 2 Samuel chapter 6. David brings the Ark back to Jerusalem. Now, the Ark, where have you heard that word Ark before? Noah's Ark? And that was a big boat, right? Well, the Ark of the Covenant was not a boat, but it was a carved wooden box. And I have a model of it here. It was a carved wooden box with gold, and the people could carry it with these rods. And inside, were the stone tablets with the Ten Commandments that God gave to Moses. The ark was important to the people of God. It reminded them that God was always with them. Inside the ark were the Ten Commandments on stone tablets. This was the most holy and special object they had. They cared for it for many years. The ark, the covenant box, had been stolen by the Philistines and carried away. After many years, the people got it back. David took it to a town near Jerusalem for safekeeping. Now it was time to bring the covenant box back to Jerusalem. King David set up a special tent called a tabernacle. The tabernacle would hold the ark. It was made of the finest materials and put up with care. Soon the time came to get the covenant box. They placed it carefully on a brand new cart and brought it out of its hiding place. Then the celebration began. King David and all the leaders formed a parade. They went ahead of the Ark of the Covenant rejoicing and singing. The people shouted and blew horns as the Ark went by. Many of them followed all the way to Jerusalem. King David was so full of joy he couldn't walk quietly. He leaped, he jumped, he twirled, he sang and danced before God. When they came to Jerusalem, crowds of people were waiting for them. Everyone wanted to see the covenant box. The crowd shouted and blew their horns. The new cart carried the covenant box to the tabernacle. David gave thanks to God and blessed the people. There was a huge party. Once again, the people had the Ark of the Covenant in Jerusalem. It was a wonderful reminder that God was with them. It was a day to celebrate. It was a day to remember. What holy and special objects do we have 
that remind us that God is with us. Can you think about the sanctuary where we worship God here at Westminster Presbyterian Church and some of the special things that are in our sanctuary that remind us that God is with us? We have candles on the table, on the communion table, to remind us of the light of Christ. We have the cup and the plate for communion to remind us of the special meal that Jesus shared with his disciples. We have water in the baptismal font, right, for baptisms when we baptize people. And that reminds us that we are God's children. Do you have special objects at home that are special to your family? Do you have special things that you have with you when you worship at home? We can worship God anywhere and with great joy, just like David did. Let's have a prayer together. Dear God, Thank you that we can worship you and praise you wherever we are. Thank you for reminders that you are with us. Amen. All right, friends, think about what you want to bring for your offering today. Maybe you want to bring a can of food for United Ministries or bring your offering for the church at Westminster. Think about what you want to do. Maybe an act of kindness. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God all creatures here below. Praise God above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Okay, stay tuned for some activities with the Workman family. Have a good week, friends. Hey, Westminster families. We're the Workmans. I'm Rachel Workman. I'm Elizabeth Workman. I'm Mary Workman. We are helping with Children's Church this week, and you have just heard a story about David and how um, God chose David to be the next king of Israel. Um, we have a bunch of different activities depending on the age. Um, for preschool through kindergarten, you have a few different options, um, and actually my children are working on one of these things right now. Um, they are working on drawing something special to our family. Um, Elizabeth, can you share with us what you're drawing? I'm drawing a heart because I think love is very important. Okay. I'm drawing a paper, a big heart that says love is important to the family. Oh, great. Um, love is important to the family. Um, in your packet, you also have a a uh, matching game that has words of worship, and you can flip these over and make a little matching game. We might work on this a little bit later. There's also a Seeing David skit for some of the older kids with a bunch of different roles that you can do. And then for the fourth to fifth graders who are more familiar with staying through a whole worship service, they might want to look through the Harbinger and pick out what their favorite part of worship is. Um, and talk to a family member about that. Um, so girls, you want to share with us your picture so far? Very nice. These are beautiful hearts. Can y'all pause your arts for a minute and we will say a little prayer? Okay, you ready? Dear God, help us to be people who celebrate your goodness, who raise our hands to praise, who leap in excitement over your grace, who spin when we feel your love. Thank you for our community of faith and the ways that we can worship you. Amen. Bye, guys. Have a great week. We miss you.